Hey, what's up everyone? This is a tutorial on how to use divs using coding. I'm using Dreamweaver CS4, but I'm strictly using coding for all you out there who aren't coding. So, um, if you're in Dreamweaver, make a new HTML document. If you're in not Dreamweaver, like like, a, um, like Notepad, just open up whatever text editor you have or you're, you code with. Um, so, first, let me start off by telling you what kind of... Uh, or not what kind of what a div does it's basically a placeholder like it's kind of a holder which you don't see but everything within a div has like um if you you could give a div uh a certain effect like make the text green or make it so it has a line through the text and anything within that div would have that effect so if it if the div had an effect of make all text green all text within the div would be green if that kind of makes sense and the way you you start coding a uh you start like making a like a div you can either um you can either link this like you're like in here you're gonna make a new take style or style sorry yeah type equals text slash css now close that and let's go down here close it there you go now in here when you're making a class like you can link um, let me start off by showing you. Here's a class. Uh, I'm gonna name this Bobby Jones. No, that's too random. Uh, let's do green text. This is gonna give attributes to the class green text. So now, when you make a div, let's uh, do div, and then that's a class. When you have a dot in style before a name, that would be a class. When you put a Pound, and we said, let's do green text two, just so we don't get these two mixed up on accident. Um, green text two. That would now be. Um, that's a ID, to like uh, instead of a class, it's an ID. So let's give each one effect really quickly, so um, we can see each one when we put it in our div. Sorry if I'm going kind of fast here. Let's do text dash color. Um, let's do green and text text dash color equals pink. There we go. Now go in, make the div. First we'll do class, then we'll do another div ID. Oh, div space class. There we go. There's green text right there. And the reason green text two isn't showing up, that's not a class. That's an ID, so that's why it's not showing up yet. Click green text. Close the div here, and you'll see anything in here. Let's do a paragraph. Hello, my name is John, the owner. Okay, oh, it's kind of random. Now close that. Go to design, and it should be working. Maybe I did something wrong. Hold on. Um. Oh, hold on. I know what I did wrong. Where is it? What's the tag? Um, for color, it's actually. Oh, uh, my bad. It's actually just color. Sorry. Um. Uh, let's see, let's make this green. And let's see, for this one, make this pink like it is on here. So we'll do pink. Here we go. F O F O F O. Okay. Um, now, let's go down to here. Take the design. There you go. The text is pink because the class one is pink and the ID one is green. Now let's make let's redo this div. Change this to ID equals Yeah, it's already there. So green text two. Now if you look it's gonna be gonna be green, sorry. Like that. There's tons of attributes you can use with div. 
I mean with a uh, CSS that you could add to div. Let's just do it with the class for now. Um, let's see. You could do I don't know what that is. Um, you could do background color. Let's make it black. Let's make the color normal, like text color. Um, let's make it white. And put a semi or put a uh, forget the name of these things. Not semi one, but the thing, the other one. Um, put one of those whenever you do this. Like whenever you finish one uh, attribute, you have to hit one when you go down. So that way it knows they're different ones and not like somehow mixed or whatever. So let's change this to class equals green text. Okay, now go and when we look, the background should be black and the color, the text color should be white. So that's like that. It's pretty cool. And what's nice about we using Dreamweaver at least, if you are, it'll show in here on the class. It'll kind of show what the attributes are. So like if you're looking through your classes and like you want to see the colors and everything on here, it'll kind of say like um. It'll show that it's made like black with white text compared to like other stuff. So you can see which one you want to pick. I'm sorry if you heard some uh, noise in the background. But that's pretty much it. Let me, I can show you some other attributes really quick, I guess, that there are for this. Um, there's border. That's pretty cool. It's helpful. Um, all this stuff go through it slowly so you all can see there you go and I'll do one more thing actually let's do uh, I want to see if this will work it might not work but width let's make this 300 px that way, yeah, see it resizes it now. And let's do one more thing. Background color. Actually, like two more things. Let's do color. White. And height. Let's say 100. No, yeah, 100 px. Now go, and it's like that. Um, so that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Um, be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, favorite, all of that stuff, and let me know how you thought I did. Please, no like really negative comments. Thanks for watching.